Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today I've got a couple of projects and some paper cuts and they are called Panelisa. Now today I have tried to use big things and somebody wanted to see this tag fold and it was measured yesterday or was it on Monday? I forget. It was on Monday wasn't it? Yeah I did the papers yesterday so this is that and I also cut the pocket which you know turning it that way around in my camera is large and I also used bits of the rose stamp and made an error but I'm quite happy to show you my errors and I'm going to show you that right so first up is the pocket and I tied it together using some organza bow from AliExpress. But this cardstock is a shimmering pearlized. I used the wrong ink and then, you know, it kind of it smudged a bit on me and came off on my fingers. So don't do that. Yeah, use the right ink for your cardstock. But this is really sweet. So if I take this out now, we can measure it and it will open out just like that and reveal all of those cards inside and this is that gorgeous gorgeous printed paper from Panelisa that I shared yesterday and on the back just to hide where I'd attached the ribbons I used her tearing ruler and just tore a big long strip now this is the tearing ruler Panelisa no longer does them so you know it might be a good idea to hop on and ask Panelisa if she can get them back in again because they work and they are look at the thickness they are lovely lovely quality so if you're watching Panelisa please get those back in right so there is the torn strip on the back my error in using the wrong ink for stamping but I am going to use that stamp again so you'll get to see the lovely clarity of that and there it is made up and just concertina folded so here are the cards and I'm going to measure those because I know people like to make ATCs and whatnot so I'm just looking for my ruler right off at the other end of the table so this card is going from its scallop to its scallop four inches and then we are sorry about my throat two and a half inches so that's that one and then this one is let's get that correct so that's four and one sixteenth so it's slightly bigger and its width is two and seven sixteenths because of course if you're doing ATCs people like to be accurate but if you wanted to you could crop these down or layer them on top of an ATC so that's four inches and two and a half inches on the I love that one I mean just cut into a card you know that as an aperture is going to make a great church window on a Christmas card so all, always looking for multi uses for everything and there we have four inches so I've got a really bad sore throat and I did something really silly yesterday two and a half inches I, I've been um, laying mulch in my little orchard area and I put down 250 bags and I wasn't wearing any sun protection I got really badly sunburnt on my back on my face and on my front and uh, it's made my throat a bit sore as well I did keep myself dehydrated but just really foolish of me and the length of that pocket when made up <clears throat> is because we've got to include the tab into there is 11 and a quarter inches so it's just really lovely you can make that as pretty or as cute as you want and you're going to use the right ink yeah <laughs> right the next thing is the pocket but first of all i think because they're on top of the pocket i'm just going to show you the extra bits that you get with the pocket now me being me i'm just going to pop these down here after cutting the little swirly bits out that come with it I realise that even though you can use them, you know, as decorative pieces, 
what they actually are because if you look at the thickness they cut a channel into whatever card or you know pocket that you're doing so that you've got a pocket slit so it's actually a zigzag pocket slit and i realized that after i'd done it I'd sort of like got the camera rolling and I'm looking at it. I'm thinking those are pocket slits. So I'm going to have to uh, pause the camera in a second, run off and find my little bit of scrap that I cut them from. I'm going to do that right now. Right, sorry about that. So anyway, as I was saying, you can use them as decorative little pieces on anything. And if you think about just this, you know, you could have a little bit of rickrack or something just on the bottom but this is what they are they're pocket slits now forget those at the bottom and just think of them as one at a time so that's what you've got and then all this down here would be solid so you've got that lovely wavy pattern and if i take something just to show you you know that that's how it's going to look and that's how that one's going to look or you can have it the other way around you know curved up and then you've got that lovely zigzag edge. That one's my favourite. Because you don't often see pocket slits that have got, um, you know, a really fancy edge. So, like I say, I realised it after I'd done it. And then, of course, you've got your regular straight one, which would be your pocket slit. But that little, you know, ziggy zaggy stamp edge, I really like that one. I think that's lovely. And this one up here too. Yeah, I like the idea of, you know, it being a bit wavy. So I do apologise for my um, my overlooking that when I was cutting that out. But back to the bits. The bits are wonderful. Look, you've got a little heart tab. So obviously, you know, cut it in red or what have you to go onto the edge of any pages. You've got paper clips. And I've cut those out a couple of times. So you've got two sizes of paper clip that come with it, which is great. And then you get all these um, hole reinforcers because, of course, it's a planner pocket. And then you get the flower one and you get the regular uh, circle. And you've also got little arrows that come with it. So I cut one in blue and I cut one in black. I was just using scraps from off of my table. So, you know, you've got all of those little bitty bobs to use as well. And then you also get these two serrated edge ones that you can build up as an embellishment and uh, cut in whatever colour you want to cut. So you get a great little collection in that set. And while I'm whispering away, I'm forgetting, here is the pocket. Now, I'm going to turn it that way around because it is huge and I will measure it. Now, what you get is you get the, the pocket and then you cut the back out. So this is seven and three quarters, I believe, by five inches. And then it just goes inside of your planner like that. And then you stuff all your goodies inside like this, you know. So you've got everything going on inside of your pocket. I've used the uh, flower reinforcers on this one. Cut them in black just for a bit of contrast. But there's that gorgeous paper. It is absolutely beautiful. It's so bold and lovely. Absolutely love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Right, so the measurement of this now that it's made... And I'm pretty sure it's seven. Yeah, seven and three quarters. And then you've got to go across to the edge of your tab there. And we are at five and eleven sixteenths of an inch. That is how big we are. Right. Now then, a couple of errors in there. Not too bad. But I thank you so much for joining me today. I do value that you spend your precious time with me. And I will be up with more Panelisa tomorrow. People have asked for, I think it's the vintage cat and the pig and the cow. So I'm going to try and go and get those done. Right, once again, have an absolutely awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.